This Star Wars Day, learn how to 3D print a Baby Yoda keychain at the library. To start, you'll need to sign into our Beanstack site. The link in the description will take you right to the sign in page. If you haven't already, you'll need to make a Beanstack account. Once you're signed in, your dashboard will look something like this if you're over 14 years old. Anyone under the age of 14 will need to complete the training with an adult, and an adult will need to supervise them in the creative space. Click on the Creative Space Challenge. To use the 3D printer, you must complete the Creative Space Basics badge and the 3D printer badge, which contain the necessary training to help you get started. When you finish with those badges, check out the laptop for the 3D printer and find the model of the Baby Yoda keychain on Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a great site where you can find thousands of 3D models already made for you. There are so many cool things on there, I'd encourage you to browse this site for more things to 3D print. I will link this particular model by 3D Mentality in the description. Download all the files. Then you'll want to copy the STL file out of the compressed folder to somewhere easy to find, like on the desktop. Then open the Dremel Digilab Slicer software. Open the model with the folder icon. The model is oversized, so you'll need to scale it down. So select the model, and then select Scale on the left, and change the scale to about 15%. You might want them a little bit bigger or smaller, so take a look at the dimensions for the X, Y, and Z axes here. But keep in mind, if you go much smaller, you're likely to break off his little fingers and the loop on top of his head, since those parts are so small already. Then we're going to slice him. This creates a file that will communicate to the printer, telling it how to print him layer by layer. Change the print profile from high to medium quality. Switch the print setup from recommended to custom. I changed the infill density to 15% to save time. But if you think you need a more durable keychain, you might want to leave it at 18% infill. Make sure your support plate spin is set to everywhere and your build plate adhesion is set to skirt. Then click prepare. Next, change the file name so you can find it easily later on and notice how the software estimates it will take 29 minutes to print. Then save it to the removable drive. We have a flash drive provided in a drawer next to the 3D printer in the creative space. Eject the flash drive when you're done. Depending on what color filament is loaded in the 3D printer, you might need to change it to green. Tap the filament icon, then the machine will guide you through the process. You may need to cut and remove the previous filament spool, but that's already done here for us. So you can hit next, then load the green spool of filament, which you'll find in the cabinet next to the 3D printer, Feed the filament into the tube and then into the extruder. The printer will purge any old filament. Then you'll see the color change like this. Once you throw that strand away, you're ready to start printing. Insert the flash drive. Press Build, select the flash drive, find your file, and then tap Build. The machine will calibrate and level the build plate and then start printing. Now it's done, but we need to wait until it cools completely before we take it out of the machine. That red thermometer icon means it's still too hot. 
Now the thermometer is blue, which means that it's cool. This is how you carefully remove the bill plate. Start by flexing the bill plate to loosen the pieces. Then carefully scrape him off with an offset knife. Be careful not to fling the model. Then carefully put the bill plate back in, slide it under the tabs in the back. Then let it magnetize and close the tabs in the front. Hit accept that the bill plate is clear. And then you'll need to remove the support material on your model. We have these handy cutters and this screwdriver to help you pry out the pieces. Just be careful around his fingers because they're very tiny and can break off easily. And on the loop on the top of his head. The support material inside the loop could easily make it break off when you pull that out of there. And there's your new baby Yoda keychain. Thanks for watching.